Hello, hello, hello. How we doing? Oh, okay, the Harry's here. Harry, you gotta go, buddy. You gotta go, Harry. Yep, out of here, buddy. One. Here. Have some cheese. Look, cheese. We love cheese. Go on. Go get the cheese. Go get it. Go get it. Go. Go. Bye, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up guys long time no see huh <laughs> okay so I had this box from the cards that I sold in the sale the other day and I'm sitting here watching hags run around like a chicken with her head cut off and I'm like I'm looking at it going Kind of a cute little box. Yeah. And I went to throw it in the trash. And then I went, what are you, crazy? You could make a little journal out of that. It would make a cute little journal. So all I'm going to do is take this part off. And the ends off. I'm going to put this part over here. And I'm going to put in some reinforcement. I'm going to line it. I'm going to make a little journal out of this sucker. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. So I figured, since it's been a really long, boring day. Horribly long and boring. But holiday days, right? <laughs> I figured, hmm, might as well do a live. So I'm going to do it with you guys. Yep, yep, yep. What I'm going to do. But first, I'm going to say hello to everybody. Let me get on live chat. All righty. Of course, the ever-present Amy is in the house. Arlene is here. Hello, my darling. Hi, Carla. Miss Cat's here. JD. Miss Sabrina's in the house. I think that's everybody. Looks like everybody. So nice to see you all again. Hi, Amy. I'm home from work. Mm. Did you have a nice day at work here? No, it was long and boring. I'm so sorry. Memorial Day. Gotta love holiday pay, but nothing going on. All right, go away now. All right, love you all. Bye-bye. All right. So these parts have to come off first. Razor blade. We only get one shot at this, ladies. All right, that's one part. That's two. Three parts. Okay, that part is good. Now this part. That. This. Okay, we got rid of that, 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 and that. All right, so far so good. We now have a square. I'm going to cut this apart with scissors because I do not want to accidentally slice anything here. That's one side. This part we can take off with a razor blade. And then we'll straighten up that other side. Make that the new spine because I don't like that. Clean this up a little bit just because we can. And I think we're going to clean up this little piece of top because it's a little off. Oh, yeah, it's just a hair off. Okay. Let's clean this up. Check the bottom. Bottom looks good, but I still don't like this. Mm 
And that's why I don't like it. See, right there. Okay, now we're good. All right, now we have a base for a little journal. I'm going to put this part on here, but we're going to clean this up first. So what is everybody working on over this long holiday weekend? You know, the one we've been on for the last six weeks or so. <laughs> right? It's like the weekend that never ends. And this little piece at the top, I don't like this piece up here. All right, now that should be mostly the right size. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Keeping your bed from leaving, you're holding it down. Very good. I know, I got to shut him off. Hold on. You shut him off. Ba -ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, yeah, let's delete these. Disable, 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 disable. There we go. Yeah, well, we can leave that one in, right? Okay, he's all disabled. I shut him up. <laughs> Hmm. Kathy's working on getting fatter. Arlene's working on dipping apples in just peanut butter. Very good. Neener! Neener! My Neener's here! Hi, honey! She's only here temporarily. This is not the Nina you're looking for. It's getting ready. She has to go to work. Yeah, they make her work. It's not very nice. Uh, yes, I actually use my craft knife to make bias tape as well. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Looks pretty good. It's pretty standard. Okay, let's glue this thing on. Um, but I have to take this off of here because otherwise it's not going to go down flat. All right. Let's see if we can get this off of here with little or no frustration. I don't want to tear it, but we want it off. Okay, well, that's most of it. Let's get the rest off. Because I want this flat, so it goes on there flat. Oh, there we go. Okay. Got it. Yep. Perfection. All right, we're going to glue this down. Today, we're using Beacon 3-in-1. Why? Because it's the glue that was right here and I just grabbed it. Okay. Glue. And some glue up here where my thumb was. Oh, cap before I burp. There we go. Let's get this sucker on here nice and straight. And clamps. Clamp. 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 I'm actually going to fold this over so I can clamp on here all the way. Clamp. 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 Okay. All right. Set that away. Let me get rid of some of these scraps. I'm going to keep these, though, because I'm thinking one of these might be cute to use, like, as a closure. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? We'll find out. I might have to glue them together to do it. Who knows? So we're going to keep these, but we're going to get rid of this. All of this trash is going to go. Look at me saving the environment, throwing away less trash. <laughs> All right, get rid of that. That thing away before I cut myself. Oh, we'll let that dry for a few minutes. Ah. 
meaning string cheese. The Frigo cheese head kind. Okay, what kind of little boxes? Hey, Laura. My Laura is here. I do. I make little boxes. What kind of little boxes do you need, honey? <laughs> Arlene. <laughs> Great, now we all want Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> yes, you did, Carla. But I don't need a box, my car. I just make boxes. You just need to tell me what kind you need. I will come up with something. Thank you. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. Hello, Amy Ventures in Mixed Media. How are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Amy Ventures in Media Art. Hello, how are you? And welcome to the shenanigans. <laughs> All right. All right, now that I have chocolate and peanut butter, let's see if this stuff will dry. Not quite. A little bit more. A couple more seconds and it'll be dry, I think. And I kind of like this little thing, so I'm thinking this might be the, the closure. So I'm just going to trim off this little bad part. And then we shall see. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> French. <laughs> All right, so I have some of this beautiful cardstock that I checked, and it's the closest thing I have to match this. Because, like, regular red is just too red. And this red kind of matches everything else. So, and this matches better, the Bo Bunny stuff. And I have all this, I have all this Bo Bunny stuff that I still have, you know. So, I thought this little book would be great for little 6 by 6 pads. I got that. And then I have lots of little pieces and parts. So, I figured we could use some of these things. And I got some of the Bow Bunny stickers and stuff, you know, so I thought maybe we could use some of this stuff. So this one's open, so we'll take a look at that one first. So I got this. Stuff. I was going to use the other stuff, but um, I'm waiting because I want to see Laura's interpretation of that, the Stamperia stuff, Stamperia, whatever the heck they call it. So, 
Let's measure this sucker. Let's see what we need for new size. We need a piece that is six and three quarters by mm, three and three quarters. Six and three quarters by three and three quarters. Okay. Blech. Let's go three and three quarters. And six and three quarters. Get started there. All right. You out of the bay. Big cutty thing, you. See, this is why I always say to cut. You all just watched me measure that, right? Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. I get to half an inch off of that. We get the jumper. All right, six and a quarter. We're going to take half an inch off, which I have to know is this little thing right here. Okay. Bye bye. All right. That's out of there. There we go. That's better. <laughs> okay. We'll try that. Bless you, dear. Thank you. Okay. I like that. Let's see what those are. Uh huh. All right. Let's try this. Okay, that looks good, and then we can just trim it as needed. It would have been smarter if I just cut it really big and just trimmed it off. But we're going to glue that in. I like it. This is called the no math crafting right here. In other words, my lazy butt is not going to math. I'm just going to do this. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see. Let's get some things here. We are at two and three quarters, so we want two and a half by three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. So we want. Five by three and a half, give or take. And I've got some just plain white paper. I'm just going to use white paper. Okay, maybe some red. Let's see if I have any red paper. Okay, maybe some purple too. And some blue. All right, so there's a piece of purple, like that one, and some blue. This one, this one. Okay, hold on. I like that purple better than that one. All right, put the paper away. I have a whole drawer full of this stuff. I don't know where it comes from. <laughs> All right, let me see. Hey, Kim, how are you, darling?
Yes, the birds are back. They look all sunnied and everything. <laughs> oh, let's see. Stamperia. Not diarrhea. <laughs> Not stam, stam, stamperia. <laughs> oh, it's stamperia. All right. What did I say? Five by three and a half, right? All right. Five by three and a half. One, two, three, four. Five. We're going to do six pieces because I don't want to do too many in each signature. <sighs> so we're going to go three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. So the other day in my live, I had a bunch of tickets from the Amy. And um, I was like, what am I going to do with these things? And you guys were giving me some great ideas. And I thought, okay, awesome. This is going to be fantastic. Well, somebody decided to throw down the gauntlet and said, you should make a little journal out of it. <laughs> well, I did. And it's on its way to her. And she is going to have to uh, share it if she wants to. Two. And let's cut this last one. But I did. I made a little journal out of those tickets. I want you guys to see this. Do you see this line right here? That is because the paper, when Hags does it, shrinks just a tad because of the heat. That's how I know she did it right. <laughs> if it's a good batch, <laughs> it shrank. <laughs> I'm kidding, they're all good badges. You guys know I love that paper. Pegs, can I throw these away? They're under an inch. Yeah. Hey, she's not out here. I can throw stuff away. Watch her come storming out here. Give me that paper. I'm going to be in all kinds of trouble. Okay, so I have purple and blue and red because those are like the colors, you know, for the kid. These are going to be so tiny. She's going to be little teeny tiny tiny pieces here. Okay, paper. 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 Some more paper. Some more. What do you think the maximum pages are I could put in the signatures in this thing? Should I do two or three little signatures? Two medium-sized ones or three little ones? Because it's not a very big book.
Yep, missed you. I can tell. Do three, huh? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's right, I'm making a little journal. Really no. Okay, so now I have to clean this up because you know. That little bits all the way around. So we'll clean this up. I'm just gonna use scissors. I'm never gonna get in there because I put that extra piece on already. So I'm just gonna trim this up. Uh oh. Uh oh, here comes the hags, I'm in trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. He's fine. He ain't going anywhere. Yeah, he doesn't like the heat. He goes out and figures out it's hot out there and then he wants to come back in. Yeah, he's weird. Going down. Doesn't matter. As long as his butt doesn't make me step till three o'clock in the freaking morning waiting for him again. We'll get over here. <coughs> Okay. Little bits and pieces. <laughs> oh, Curly! Okay, so Arlene says three. So if I do three signatures, I'm thinking like five pages each. I'm supposed to go and get some gator mouth. This one will be blue on the outside. No, no, no. Blue on the outside. Purple on the inside, right? That one's red. All right, three signatures. Should be able to fit those in there pretty comfortable. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of room. All right, let's take a measure here. That's seven eighths of an inch. Need a piece of paper. Paper. <laughs> Seven eighths of an inch, huh? Okay. Let's see what that fits. Perfection. And three and three quarters. Perfect. 
That fits perfect. Work this out. <laughs> People who overuse that. Split the pages into more signatures. <laughs> uh, honey, cat says order us pizza. What? Cat says order us pizza. Oh my god. Do you ever stop? You're like I swear you're dangerous. I like chocolate. You like driving me crazy. Why do you mean you gotta eat it? You're killing me. Yes, you are. You're gonna make me so fat. When you beat jerky? I don't even go here. <laughs> Okay, let's let's build a template. So, anybody got any war stories about stores opening and price gouging that's going on redonkulously? Twelve. Whoop whoop. Yeah, you know, it's like even here, some stores are like loaded for bear. Like you go in, no problem. There's toilet paper everywhere. There's baby wipes. The one thing I cannot find are handy wipes. And I got to be honest with you all, when you're a germaphobe and you cannot find handy wipes, you are not a happy person. 
I have been carrying handy wipes in my purse for years, and now I can't find them. And I think Alex is terrified because she's like asking all her friends, does anybody have handy wipes? Or my mom like loses her shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to poke some holes here. And I'm going to mark the top. Still waiting on something that she ordered. She's going to get her room. Yeah. Like, Mike did that the other day. He went to um, Albertson's, and he was like, what do you want for dinner? And I was like, oh, let's barbecue something. I'm thinking, you know, he's going to bring home, like, a few steaks. The man brought home 12 steaks because they had this special, buy one, get three free. So he bought, like, one set of four steaks and got three more packages for free. I showed him, though. He barbecued me steak for dinner. We had corn on the cob, and it was great. And the next day, he said, what do you want for dinner? And I said, barbecue me a steak. And he did. All right. Top of book, top of piece. Put piece in. Make sure piece is centered. Stilio, lock it down, lock it down, pokey de holes, pokey, 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 usually I would use a five point, but this thing's so little I'm only going to use a three. I know, very odd for me. Poke, poke, poke. Okay, we three, that's poles. I like it, okay. No, I'm not complaining about too much steak, but I showed him. Okay. So now, those. Thinking about how I'm going to put them in here. And I don't think that I have any black waxed thread. So I may just use embroidery floss to put these in. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start them all at the top. So I can tie them all up here. And then I can hang dangles on them. Instead of doing them inside, I think I'm going to do them on the outside. And then I can hang dangles. And I have the perfect dangles for this book. I have, like, been waiting a lifetime for this book. Okay. All right, number one.
score. Want to score. Want to bold. You're going to have to score it a little bit there, Brainiac. Okay. This is the top. That is the bottom. I can live with that. Okay, here we go. The paper's not straight. I hate when that happens. It's all lined up. No, the paper isn't straight. Booger. All right, we're going for broke. Blindly poking. Hey, that was pretty good. We got it all in the center. Yeah. Okay. Number one. Hey, Tammy. All right, number two. No, Curly, I never complain about steak. Unless it's overcooked. If it's overcooked, it's probably going back. Ooh, that's two. Um, yeah, that's the color they come in. Whenever I buy something to put in the shop, I always have to test it out, and then I don't sell the used ones. So I end up with some pink crap. No, Elf does not secretly like pink. Unless it's a sapphire. Now, if it's a pink sapphire, we can talk about it. I'm not going to throw it out. You know what I mean? All right, last one. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Perfection. All right, that's number three. All right. Okay. We're out of here. Now, I got to get some black string for this to do with black thread. Hi, JP. All right, we need black thread. Black thread. Let's go for black thread. Okay.
can it be that I have no black cord? How's that even possible? You can. I can. I have some black and gray. Black and white and black and gold. black in here. Nope. Not exactly sure how that's possible. But okay. Variegate it. Black and gold. But when it's black and gold, it's just wrapped around it, I think. So I'm going to try and separate the gold from it. Come here, little booger. Aha, it is just wrapped around it. We'll just separate it. Come on, come on over there, you little booger. Okay, we are getting it off of there. Aha! I win. Save that though, that could be used for something else. Alright. There we go. That should be enough. So I'm going to go to the thrift store tomorrow. I would have gone today, but being that it's a holiday, I really didn't want to deal with that mess. Come on. I'd help if you cut a straight edge. No, we don't. Yeah. You know. So, my son quit his job and started a new job because he is, Mikey, is, uh, is going to go to school to do uh, HVAC. He had me take him over there the other day. And we went to visit the, the school 
And now he's only 17, but he turns 18, like, right after the course starts. So they're going to go ahead and let him start because he does have to be 18 to be certified. But they're going to let him start now with our permission. And then um, that way he doesn't have to wait because their next class doesn't start till like December. And it's like a really long class because they're going to take time off for Christmas and everything. So he starts in just a couple weeks, literally like two weeks. Uh, he's going to start taking classes for HVAC. Which is really not what I saw him doing, but um, his reasons are solid. So, Dad and I are good with it. And I went in and talked to the lady, the admissions lady, and I explained to her, you know, that he's deaf and everything. And um, they were really cool about it. And, you know, they, she was really quick to, you know, catch on to the whole, you need to look at him when you talk to him. So that was good. And he thinks he can handle the being on the roof thing because people that are deaf, they, their equilibrium is kind of messed up. And so he does have like, he doesn't want to go to Disneyland because he doesn't want to ride the rides because he doesn't like heights. Um, but he thinks he's going to be okay. And they were really understanding of that, which really kind of made me very comfortable. Um, the guy that runs the school actually came out and talked to him and said, you know, there's a lot of things that you could do with HVAC that don't require him to get on a roof. Like, you know, industrial refrigeration and stuff like that, like fixing people's uh, freezer, like big restaurant freezers and stuff. So, and they do a lot of job placement. So the guy said that he would make sure that, you know, some of the companies that he sends Mikey to um, do that kind of repair so that, you know, it's not just sending him to places that would be regular air conditioning, which I thought was really cool. Um, so he's supposed to be in school until November, but they're starting this new program where they're going to release all the videos. And then he just has to go in and do the, uh, like the, the labs, the, the actual hands-on stuff. Once he learns what's in the videos and Mikey has a photodidactic mind. So when he sees something, he remembers it forever. And so <laughs> the guy said, well, you know, if he learns that quickly, uh, he could be done by September. So he could start in June and be done by September. This is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to decorate, isn't it? I've done one this small. So, you know, I'm real proud of him. He's, he's 
stepping out of his comfort zone, which is really cool because, you know, you want to see your kids develop. And, you know, he's my baby. He's the last one in the house. And he looked into this all on his own and figured it all out. He does have to get a student loan because uh, the course is too short for a Pell Grant. You have to have so many weeks if you're going to get a Pell Grant, and it's like two weeks shorter than that. But, you know, he's figured out how to afford it, how to get the loan and everything. He, he talked to his dad and asked his dad to co-sign and everything, and, which, you know, as his mom, I'm like, look at my boy, he's turning into a man. Um, <laughs> but he, he did, he uh, got another job before he quit working at Kentucky Fried Chicken, where, you know, he was the youngest lead they had because he's been a lead since he was 16. And, um, you know, he's assistant manager there. And so he, now see, I'll put charms on those. Because I have like these, um, I have like some buttons that are playing cards, the suits. So they'll look really cool on there as charms. I'll put some beads and then hang the buttons and that'll look really awesome. Okay. Um, all right, we have pages in our little bitty journal. It's starting to look cute. Okay. Let me get this mess plug cleaned up. So I, it's, it's like a proud moment, you know? It's like my last little bird is leaving the nest. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Uh, <laughs> nope. I forbid him to leave. All right, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> All right, that can go. I'll never make a journal this small again. <laughs> All right. Get out my little fine detail scissors. I'm going to be using those little suckers. The bone folder away. The scoring tool. Let's put the cutter away. Put some rulers away. And let's get rid of the straight ruler. You, you, get in the bag. Okay, let me get in the bag. You guys go over that way. Alrighty. So I do have a couple of pieces here from the Stamperia. But they're just like the little pieces that are in the bag of stuff. So we'll see if any of that works. And we have the bow bunny. I'm going to use bow bunny because I'm going to use this stuff because it's the little pattern. So it's the little pad. So, see the tiny little pockets, right? So I'm going to make some little pockets and stuff to put in our little, little teeny journal and little pieces of lace. And it's going to be all miniature stuff, guys. All right. All right, so I have to tell you, I have to put Beauty right on the front. It just has to be there, right? <laughs> okay. Shh, don't say anything. All right, so we need little teeny pockets. Little teeny pockets. So we'll make a little pocket. I better get out some little teeny glue. Mm -hmm. Yes, you guys, the big bad hags loves Bo Bunny. She does. And I'm going to get out some ink so I don't get in trouble for not inking anything. And we're going to be inking in black. today. Um, so I will get out my memento as well. Where'd my little teeny pocket go? <laughs> there it is. Little teeny pocket. So this is probably going to be what I'm going to be working on on Thursday because I don't see me finishing it anytime soon. 
because it's little. And I can't just throw stuff in it. Come on. Blue. Blue. Come out of the bottle, blue. There we go. A little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. Little bitty pocket. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um, so I started making the covers for my next set of books. And I have to tell y'all that um, this one right here, this cover, has about four hairy prints in it because he jumped up on my desk yesterday when I still had this in the gesso phase and he stepped all over it. So um, I didn't want to gesso over it, so it just got me into the book. See my interesting covers? Yes, that's for my weird, my weirdness that I'm working on. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave all the white pages alone just so that they can be like totally for journaling. And I'll only decorate on colored pages. So I'm going to do the pockets first like always because it's just easier for me that way. And I think these are three and a quarter, but I want to check. They're three and a half, good thing I checked. Let's do three and a half. On one and a quarter, because they're really small. Three and a half by one. Wait, I'm going to make the tiniest little journal cards for this. The tiniest little tags. So I'm going to go scavenger tomorrow. I know it's early, but. If I don't get out of this house, somebody might die. And you guys are all fond of him, so I don't want to kill him. You get all these pieces and parts out. You can see what we're working with here. Let's see if we put that in. Ooh. <laughs> that is right on the money. <laughs> Take a little nip off that one. Um, I'm going to go scavenger tomorrow, see what I can find. And then I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm actually taking to the thrift store to drop off. Yeah, nobody else wants to talk. Either that or too many people have on dresses. I don't know. Not going to do anything in there. I'm going to put a little pocket here, though. Close 
<laughs> well, honey, you know, hashtag safe scavenger, gloves, mask, shower as soon as I get home, make the hubber go with me to protect me from the big bad idiots. Where? Trust me, there are idiots out there. Now, they haven't opened the bins yet, just the regular thrift stores. So. It's two and a half inches wide. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Oh. Let's do two and a half. And I like two. I'm going to try this. My little scissors here because I don't want two of them. I only want the one. Come off a little bit. A little bit more. That's better. Okay. So glue there. Hey, okay. Come here. Glue there. 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 Okay. <laughs> I think she wears, you know, Bermuda shorts and a button down shirt too. A short sleeve button down shirt. Thank <laughs> you. 
two and a half. Two and a half. On the angle. Ink. Has he come back yet? Uh, nope. Well, when he's ready. Is this the page I'm on? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me take a little nip off the end there. Now we got to ink it to more. Somebody tell me, please, what is the obsession with the ink thing? This side. All right, we have one done. That means I've earned some Dr. Pepper. Hover. Yeah, okay, those clear stamps, I had one, and I tried to pull it off, and it tore in half. It was so stuck on the plastic. And I was so mad. Why, yes, Arlene, I am. I'm going to make teeny little tags. Okay, I'm not going to make tags. I have to be honest. I'm probably going to use tiny little hag tags. Because they fit perfect. I'm probably going to make little hag tags. Ah. Laura. <laughs> That's funny. Um. <laughs> what is that? You know, I do not even remember that piece being in there. I do remember that piece. And the little striking piece. And I like the little striking piece. I really like the little striking piece. This is like my favorite bow bunny pad. I think I'm going to have to order another one. You have to get clipped back because you're starting to get on my nerves. Did anybody go to the poodle auction yesterday? I did. She had some really cool fringe. 
and I don't know who sent it to her. I don't remember who sent it to her. Somebody had sent it to her, and I guess their mom used to make lampshades or something. So they sent her a whole bunch of this fringe, and she was selling it. And it was really cute. She had like six and a half, seven inch fringe. It was great. Cat, she does make large tags, and she does. All right, good night, honey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Remember, we're on your channel tomorrow, baby. Everybody come over to Laura's channel tomorrow at 6 Pacific, 7, 8, 9 across the country uh, to check out the One Witch and a Crazy Lady. Yep. One Witch and a Crazy Lady. It's like her and some weird woman that she hangs out with. No idea. No idea at all. <coughs> well, we're just going to do this one blue, black and shove it in here. That's the way it is. All right, start thinking, ladies. Black or red lace, which should we use? Uh, we're going to go down here. Across there. Right there. Black or red lace, what should we use? Black, black. Okay. Two for black. Lerves you, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. Curly says red. What if I put like red on the covers? And then black on the pages. What do you think? We're two for two. Yes, Curly. You know this isn't the Thursday project where you guys get to tell me what to do, right? Is Miss Cat still in here? Miss Cat, are you still in here? Purple. <laughs> Vote red. <laughs> All right, ready, Cat? I'm just going to show. It's going to be really quick, okay? I'm going to give you a preview. That was it. <laughs> nope, she left. She ran away. She said I had stinky, stinky feet. She left. Why is this green paper? Oh, because it's the six inch. Okay. Where's that? There it is. Must have rose paper. In book. This little corner right here is the piece I need. I'm just going to cut off the corner. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of measuring involved there. Did you see that? I so measured the crap out of that piece. Ink, 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 ink. Where's the Amy when I need her? She likes this inky stuff. I did that um, not too long ago. The Lily was reaching up on the counter and I was uh, slicing cucumbers and I went like I pulled on the knife to like push her hand out of the way just a reaction and then just slicing through my own cuticle <laughs> I haven't cut my hands cutting something in probably 20 years <laughs> and I still still have a mark from it too that was like over a month ago I think it's going to be a scar It'll be my Lily Bell star when she gets older. And say, you see that mark there? You put that on, Grandma. 
She's going to be like, no, I didn't. <laughs> Wasn't me. Okay, so now I need a pocket on this side. I think I'm going to do a bigger one here. Um... Do one of these. Uh, three and a half. This page is three and a half. That's not three and a half. You three and a half. Are you three and a half? No, three and a quarter. Damn. Three and a half. Off there. Perfect. Oh. No, I miss cat. I know. <laughs> Somebody needs to invent something. You just like put it up to it and go. And it inks everything for you. Of course, I don't like to ink anything, but I get in trouble with, you know, the crafting police. They yell at me when I don't do that. They go, you didn't ink anything. One of these days, I'll grow up enough to tell them to shove it. Well, Aaron's here now, guys, so we can go. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you, honey. Hi, Aaron. How are you, sweetie? <laughs> and that's all me being nice to you for the night, okay? I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm mad at you or anything, so I'm being sweet. I don't want you to think you're dying, so I'm being nice, you know. And when I grow up, my hands are going to be covered in ink like hags. <laughs> Hello, Brenda. If I've missed you and you've come in, I'm sorry. Just, you know, slap me or send the hags out to slap me. <laughs> come on, hags. Come slap me, honey. Hag is in her room right now going, I don't think so. So here's a dangerous thing. Oogie has a Facebook now. I was doing my comments the other morning. And there she is. Ooh, I got to comment first. <laughs> like, oh, God, now she has a Facebook page. She has a YouTube page. Oh, she's all grown up. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? I don't know. Choose life, not slapping. <laughs> Tell us, Aaron, what are we guessing? Um, the economy sucks. No, we all know that. Um, <laughs> Come on. Speak monkey's butt. Okay, yeah. She's finally having her damn sale. Oh, my God. God, when? Wednesday? Oh, please post the link so we can all put in a reminder for it now. I don't even work anything on Wednesday. Oh, absolutely, sweetheart. Just drop it in there. If you can't get it in, send it to Hag. She'll do it. Put the link in. Advertise the living crap out of it, sweet pea. Anytime you want. I am I am an equal opportunity advertisement. <laughs> Please let it be Wednesday after five. Darla, I can buy for you on proxy if you want, sweetie. <laughs> I just don't know how much of your money I will spend and give to you, you know. Let's make another po 
pocket here. What do you think? I like that. This piece of paper is starting to look like a really weird tag. But I just have to put red and white flowers on purple paper. And ink. You see this, Crafty Police? Look, I'm inking. Where's the hags when I need her? <laughs> Seriously. Picking up paper. Hags, will you come and ink my stuff? He's like, hell no. I moved into my room, so I don't have to put up with your butt no more. That's the real reason, you know. He didn't want to put up with me no more. He's like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> You're on your own. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Sit here and ink my own stuff. All right, so those of you just tuning in, this is the uh, box from the cards that I sold in my sale last, the other day, this weekend. Uh, the Alice in Wonderland cards. By the way, do not get butt hurt if you didn't get any. I have another box coming. It just takes a while because it has to go through customs. But uh, I had this pack of cards, and I said, well, I was going to throw it away. And then I said, no, it's going to make a cute little journal. So we're making a tiny little Alice in Wonderland journal out of a little Alice pack of cards. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Wednesday, one Eastern. I took this side off the box and I used it. I glued it on here to reinforce the spine. Plus, I didn't like the way that side of the box was, but this side was really cute. And I was going to use the, the little, you know, the joker that came in here, but I can't because I sent it to somebody as a gift. Because <laughs> I do that. <laughs> but I do have some uh, Stamperia stuff that I'm going to use and some Bow Bunny stuff that I'm going to use. And I'm using Bow Bunny paper. So, you know, just for those of you that need to know what brand of paper it is and get all like butt hurt if you don't know. Okay, let's get a piece of this. Because I like the little micro dots. Aren't they cute? All right, let's cut a slice of this puppy off of here. Uh, two and three quarters is about the right place. And then two and three quarters. Oh, let me cut that an inch and a half. Make one of those little side pocket things. Yeah. Okay, inking. Closing this before I chop my damn fingers off. You know what? I get around this top corner. <laughs> yep, got to do it. Got to do it. More better. Okay, I feel better now. I've, I've rounded something. Yes, Hags has been working very, very hard trying to get her room into some kind of sense of order because paper exploded in there. It did. I heard a bomb go off and I looked and it was just paper and it was everywhere. This one. Hello, Miss Larvie. How are you, my dear? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the insanity. Okay, we need to do another piece of this.
Didn't I? What the hell was that about? Inking. Bluing. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Oh. This side is going to get One and a half. Bye. Rounding the corner. Inking. Really inking. Really doing it. <laughs> yes, there's one thing that Amy has in large supply living with me, paper scraps. Because the normal person to me would go, I'm never going to do anything with this, and I would get rid of it, and Amy gets mad at me. And goes, no, don't do that, it's mine. That's like it, okay. Ding. Really inky, see? Amy, honey, could you post a link to the group? And thank you, please. And thank you. Mm. 
Hold on, we'll give Amy a second, see if she pulls it up. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, nice lady. When's the last time we used that? We're going to use the teacup this time. Two and Two. Two and a nudge. No last, that's a real measurement. Two and a nudge. We'll start there. Not quite right. A bit more. Rocket science. <laughs> Must be precise. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be cute. Okay, here we go. You do this. Yeah, <laughs> tiny little finger thing. With my tiny little finger that we punch. Okay. Poke it. Poke it. Seriously. Hello. Don't need to poke it. Oh, All right, that's two. We have two signatures all pocketed up. Yes, but I was planning on using those as journaling cards. Because I have the cutest little deck of cards. So I was going to use those as journaling cards. So I have one more little signature to do with pockets. Let's take a look at where we are so far. We have a little corner there, leaving this for writing space. I'm going to decorate on that one. And then writing space and a little tuck here. And then we're going to decorate on this one and writing space and writing space and a little tuck here. And this one, I think I'm going to do some, like, I might do like a half piece, like a bigger piece to cut it in half so it fits. And then a tuck spot and writing page, writing space, and some decorating spots. And then a little pocket. A little teeny pocket. Writing space. Two pockets. And then a little corner pocket. 
and I don't like the way this came out at all, so I'm going to round that corner, maybe, who knows, possible, maybe, maybe not, maybe, I might. Journaling space, journaling space, another little pocket, a little side pocket, some journaling space, little pocket, pocket, decorate, pocket, journal space, journal space, pocket, pocket, journal space, journal space, pocket, pocket, and you're going to leave this as decoration, we're decorating, and we'll start pocket on the other side, okay, even a bit quick. So, get all my decent size ones here. Come here, little pieces. Book, which stuff things I don't need. Trash. So I have I think it's in here. Let me look. the other one. We're in here. Here it is. So I have this little tiny deck of cards. So I thought I could make some journaling cards out of these. Because they're little. I think they're the perfect size for that book. You can't find the Queen of Hearts. There she is. So I'll probably use these to make little cards. And then some other things too. Ooh. All right, guys. I'm thinking that's probably enough for tonight. Because I got, you know, stuff. Um, so, we will probably work on this Thursday uh, for live at 3. My live Thursdays at 3. And I'm thinking, I'm probably going to figure out how to do it. But I'm thinking I might use this, which is the top of the box. I might figure out how to work this in to make it a closure for the box. I'm not sure yet. So we will see. So I'm saving that because I might use it. But this is where we're at so far, guys. We've got a little teeny journal. It's not too gator yet. I mean, it's naturally gator because it's, it's a box and it wants to open. But, uh, you yeah, know, it's not too bad. I haven't overly stuffed it yet because I can still see through it. <laughs> so um, I'm going to let these little pockets dry, and then we uh, will work on this, I think, Thursday.
and make finish up the pockets and do a little decorating and get started on making some little journal cards. Yeah. Alright guys, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know it's not my normally scheduled uh, time or anything, but this little book was just so cute. And um, Curly, I'm going to send this to you because I want to see what you do with it. Um, and it's cool and industrial, and I think that you will do something awesome with it. I'm going to order another pack of this paper because I love that paper and I'm running out. And I'm going to look through and see what we've got in the brads and these pieces because we need some small stuff to go in here, guys. Can't use anything big. So I'm going to see what's in here that's really small. And that's it. I think I'm done. What? <laughs> <clears throat> I will see you guys uh, on Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Pacific Standard Time for uh, One Witch and a Crazy Lady over on Laura's channel. That's 6, 7, 8, and 9 across the country. Then 9 Pacific Standard Time, 10, 11, and 12 across the country for Late Night Lunatics. And then I'll see you guys on uh, Wednesday in Brenda Price's sale. Please make sure that you put a reminder up for that and let's uh, go out and support and see what kind of crafty goodness she's been dash in a way that we can all get our hands on. Um, and I am assuming that the lovely Miss Erin will be uh, helping her out with that. And then I will see you uh, for Thursdays at 3 where we will work on this little Alice pack of cards journal. Until then, guys, thank you so much. Do me a favor. If you are alone and you're stuck in your house and nobody to talk to, reach out. Reach out to anybody who's in that box. Um, you can reach Amy at Amy Aldridge on Facebook. You can reach me at Elsbeth Talon. You can reach Laura at Laura Free, all on Facebook. Um, just reach out and say, hey, kind of bored. And we'll hang out with you for a while and talk to you so you're not all alone, okay? I know this is getting to be really stressful for a lot of people in our community, uh, especially those that, that don't have the ability to go out or, or that are immunocompromised. So we are here for you. We love you guys. Until I see you again. Hit the red button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like, you can move out and share me with all your friends because I'm making a tiny little house book. Till the next time. Bye bye.